Hello and welcome to this next part of Danganronpa Another. Last time we finished the investigation and now we are standing before a very um, intimidating trial. This case is weird. <laughs> yes, so... Drive the fuck in and figure out what the hell happens. <laughs> Absolutely, and I'm also curious, well, apparently there's less to do in this trial than usual. Yeah, I am as confused about that as you are. Trial and session. Now then, let's begin with a brief explanation of the class trial. To out the outcome of the class trial is decided by your votes. If you point out the blackened, only they will be punished. But in case you point out the wrong one, everyone will get punished, and the one who deceived everyone will get to graduate from this academy. Thank you, Zephy. Thank you, Zephy. <laughs> so we have to find the culprit who killed Kanata and Yamaguchi, right? That's right. <laughs> Now then, you may start your discussion. You know, this is a little bit awkward, but can Kenjo lead again? Oh my god. Oh my god. Teria, 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 Teria. That, that is indeed What are you very gonna do awkward. if he's just gone? <laughs> I could keep you on top of my reasoning, but unfortunately I won't be very helpful this time either. I investigated in a hurry, but I don't know the details of the case, and there are several parts that I could not investigate. Because you got beaten and knocked out by the killer, right? Then we have no choice but to do it ourselves as much as possible. It's gonna be make a miracle if Mikaru helps us. <laughs> no, it'll be fine. If you keep talking, we'll reach an answer, right? When you start discussing, Kinjo might find out something, too. I hope so. Let's do it as far as we can. This case has been far more different than the others. Unlike Maki and Tomori, who died suddenly while we couldn't see them, the murder took place right in front of us. You really want us to think that? Here's the thing that's really weird about him right now. Normally, he does not talk very much at the start. Yep. It's really abnormal for him to be talking as much as he is right now. Yeah, he's more the kind of person that starts to, like, when actual stuff is being discussed, then he will... Then he'll interject. Yeah. Then he'll interject, just like Mikako or Mikaru will. But otherwise, he normally takes the back seat, so this is hmm. really weird. Yeah, that's true. We know because two people were killed on different floors. I think the people on each other's floors will have different information. That was when Kinjo fainted at the time. Then it's best to listen to everyone as much as possible. We'll begin a summary of the case. Satsuki will help too. The people who surveyed the second floor and the people who checked the third floor saw and heard differently, so we have to gather information. As Kobashikawa said, Kinjo doesn't know anything, so let's explain the incident and sort out the order in which the incident occurred. First, before the body discovery and out rang this morning, Maida, Taira, Iranami, Otori, and I were waiting for everyone to gather at, at the restaurant. After one hour, Mikako arrived, but the rest were not coming at all, so we felt something was wrong and decided to find Kanata and Yamaguchi. And on the second floor, we found Urahara fainted, and fortunately, he was able to come to his senses. But right after that, on the third floor, there was a strange sound that was really loud. So we decided to act in two groups. The second floor investigation group and the third one. Kurukawa, Uehara and me on the third floor. As for the second one, it was Taira, Ko Kobashikawa, Otori and Iranami who took over it. Alright, so you're saying the viewpoint diverges from there, is that right? Um, in my case, I heard a rough story from the others. 
in charge of the second floor investigation, but there are probably many others who don't know about it yet. Shall Maeda, Kurukawa and me talk about the third floor first? We went up to the third floor and then each of us decided to check a room. Maeda went to the art room, the epicenter of the strange sounds, I checked the science lab and Kurukawa decided to check the rest of the rooms. The empty classrooms and casino. There was nothing. Like Uhara said, I headed to the art room where I was able to confirm the identity of the strange noise. The sound that that was coming from inside the locker. What I found was Mikado, you're, you're really gonna spend one of those interjections on this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Inside the art room locker was Mikado, with her mouth taped and her limbs were bloody, and she was kicking the locker door to try to open it up. That was what the roaring sound was. Mikaru was trapped? And bloody too? Wait, she wasn't in a position to talk to the others either. This incompetent child, I won't let this go so easily. Why me? I was just trying to organize the case. You kinda... He has to say something or you're gonna look suspicious. Hmm. Like, you cannot get mad at him for that. <laughs> Goodness. Maeda went to the art room and came along with Mikado, and I wondered how he found her. She must have been trapped. Well, at that time, the situation was so urgent that there were some things that could not be explained properly. But, why was Mikaru found like that? Why, you ask? I was taken off guard by the killer. You also say that you were taken off guard. Don't worry, unlike the cop over there, I didn't give a damn. Ma'am? <laughs> oh, like she wasn't bothered by mm. it, I see. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? I don't mind and continue the discussion. I'll tell you after I watch you guys shovel some more. She doesn't want to talk about it yet. Honey, yeah. it's important. You were in a bloody locker. That is evidence. She wants to have more fun first. Gotta work for it. Ma'am, I swear. You really are a piece of... Isn't there any cooperativeness in here anymore? Ignore Mikado and keep talking. Even if you don't know, I have to reason based on what I heard just now. Uh, yeah, then I'll continue. After taking Mikado out, we came through the corridor, but then Kurukawa and Uehara called out, mentioning that the science lab door was not opening. As I said earlier, I went to investigate the science lab, but the door was tightly closed and couldn't be opened. In my attempt, I tried to force it open, but it was no use. The effort didn't seem good at all. So Kurukawa joined, who came from investigating the other places. Yes, there was even a scream coming out of the science lab. The four of us who were on the fourth flo third floor were all focused on opening the door, and finally we succeeded in opening the door to it. Was Kanata already dead? Uh, shortly after, the body discovery announcement came out. Everyone knows from seeing Inori's body, but it was so horrible that she was shocked to death and she couldn't even move the way she was bound. But the crime didn't end there. Yeah, it came out again. Another BDA. That's Yamaguchi's BDA that we found in the library, right? In, oh, <clears throat> in order to see what transpired, we went down to the second floor and joined you guys. We also checked Yamaguchi's body. It's all from that's all from our report on the third floor investigation team. As for us who checked on the second floor, are no difference. Each of the four were put to investigate a classroom, and I went to the library. 
found Yamaguchi and Kinjo, and then the rest of the guys discovered the corpse af after another, and then the BDA rang. So, roughly that's how the case played out. Yeah, at first, it's like a murder case, just like just like two people died overnight and we found them, one after another, but the biggest problem with this case is that the killing was this morning the same day. They went to the same area as us, even the same hour, and committed a murder. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Is that... You mean the estimated time of death in the Monokuma file? That's right. According to the Monokuma file, Yamaguchi and Inori died on a, at the time we were investigating the second and third floors. I realize this, but as much as we've been acting in pairs and working with each other, we can prove everyone's alibi. No, you can't. No. That's not the only weird thing, right? When the science lab door was closed, we heard Inori scream clearly with the door in between. Ah, I see, so this whole see. thing was just to get himself an alibi. Yeah, I think so. I think the delayed murders are to give him an alibi. But it doesn't hold that well either, because it's pretty clear that even if they really did die shortly before being found, they were still set up way earlier. Yeah, the, these these murders were set up in advance, and that's hmm. easy at a glance if you don't have Terry as brain cells. <laughs> <laughs> I love him, but I will jab at him. I am sorry. <laughs> Feel free. He really does not have... Um, he isn't the sharpest tool in the shed. No, he's not. He's good in some aspects, but not... Intellect, not so much. <laughs> but when we opened the door, there was no one inside. Now, wait a minute! That's the scene for us! The place where Urehara was found, it was near the stairs of the second floor! Get out of the library after killing Yamaguchi! You must pass through there! So, you couldn't have missed them! When you went to search the library, did you go right away after breaking with the others who went to the third floor? Yes, when I went to the library, Yamakuchi was already dead. If the culprit killed them in the library, I couldn't have missed that. So, he's gonna figure out here that it's a delayed murder. Yep. And even if we say they secretly came out, Kanata was killed too. To go up to the third floor, they would have had to pass Maida, right? All these things don't make any sense. <laughs> I didn't ask that far. Don't jump ahead. I will throttle you. Leave her alone. <laughs> ah, oh, uh... Y yeah, sorry. What are you sorry for? You don't have to apologize to that guy. That's how Kinjo is. He doesn't like Tyra anyway, so don't worry. Everyone else is not thinking badly of you, okay? Thank you. Oh, no, it's all right, Kobashikawa. No matter what the others say, it is true that I stabbed Kizuna. And it is true that Ayame died because of me. They were accidents! Yes. <laughs> Stop it! Do not feed into his bullshit! I don't deserve to say anything else. If you know that, then let's continue. I also don't want to waste my time talking about bitter stuff, even in class trials. So then, the biggest issue right now is how did they go back and forth without any of us noticing in that short time? Jurgi, you need a longer time out than, when you, than what you just had, because you were not out long enough. That is my take on that. <laughs> yeah, Inori and Yamaguchi's time interval was only five minutes. It is definitely impossible to kill in two places that are separated by different floor levels. It looks like that, but is it really how it happened? Let's think based on what we have investigated. I may have found a secret of this challenge. Non stop oh, debate. Is there a new explanation, or I don't think so, huh? I, I think it's the same. Hmm. 
What are the truth bullets? Stun gun. Stun gun, science lab flood. Uh, I think the board. flood. The, f the flood. Yeah, that sounds right. In that short time avoiding all of our eyes, it's impossible to kill two people. Not necessarily. Yamaguchi was killed after. Do you know what was what it was that killed Inori? Electrocution by a stun gun, right? Maybe it was the stun gun? That does make an electric shock against the body. But it's all over her body. But it's not close to the body, so it wasn't affected by it. Nah. I, I think it's that one. Nah. Really? If you think about it, the scene of the incident, can't you think of anything else? But yep. Yep, yep. Alright, so we know where to shoot it. Yep. The suspicious stun gun that killed Inori. It definitely, it's definitely a melee weapon, however... The stun gun is also a su suppression weapon, not a lethal one. So the killer didn't directly target the stun gun, but what special circumstance was used? A special circumstance in which Inori can be electrocuted, even if she's not, even if they are not at a crime scene. Yeah, yeah, don't be so dramatic. <laughs> Now we just have to wait for it. So it's the second to last panel. See, see. There we go. The delay gets me every time. Yeah, there is a way to get rid of that. It's just a, it's an ability. Hmm. I think it's Mikaru's ability. It, it, it gets rid of the delay. Efficiency for her, huh? No, the weapon that killed Inori was definitely a stun gun. It may not have been a dr direct hit from the stun gun. It wasn't a direct hit, but the weapon was a stun gun. Are you saying some kind of ghost hit it then? N no. Do you know what no, water no. is? So we know that Haruhiko has no experience in science. I mean, to be fair, didn't it say that like he didn't really do much school? <laughs> hmm. Let's just hope he never pokes his uh, fork at a uh, at electric stuff. Uh, an outlet, yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. Have you all been to the science lab at least once? Wasn't there a sea of water enough to overflow the corridor? At first, I was wondering why they needed to do this. The fact that the science lab was turned into a sea of water, Inori was electrocuted. So, what was the cause to make this happen? Ah! If you let Kanata submerge in the water and then drop the stun gun, you can cause an electric shock without touching the stun gun directly! Let's wait a moment. The stun gun itself is just a, is just a subs, uh, uh, depression tool. It doesn't come out with enough voltage to kill people in no time. Of course, that also depends on the device. However, if you allow water to pass electricity, it would be left enough for a person to pass through their body. Oh my god, Terry, you're giving you a good idea? <laughs> <gasps> so proud of my boy! <laughs> he knows more science than Haru. Oh, I hold him gently. He 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 used his brain cells, he rubbed them together, Rita. <laughs> yeah. If that were the case, wouldn't the killer be able to electrocute indirectly with water, even if they didn't use the stun gun with their own hands? Haru, no! Don't do this to My me! Boy. I hate this minigame! No, no way, Maida! Your reasoning has a bunch of flaws! What's wrong all of a sudden, Kobashikawa? Listen, I tried to reason my head I tried to reason in my head, wrapped around this crime for a while. But this logic is so wrong that it doesn't... that it just doesn't fit. I... I always been beaten by Maida, but... Today I won't lose to you. Science. How to... Science. My, my guy, 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 what the fuck? Stop. <laughs> you... You're wasting time. <laughs> Please, my boy, are you this ignorant that you... I am kind of worried. I mean, to be fair, 
This is the man who learned how to drive planes well without any instruction. Just saying that he probably might, uh, what happens if he bathes with, like, um, electronics? Oh no. Oh no. He probably no. wouldn't see anything wrong with that, eh? Oh no. God. You're arguing for such a useless reason? Y useless? You said it was useless? It, it kinda is. It is, bud. <laughs> and then, Maida, unfortunately for you, I found out what's wrong with your reasoning. Now then. This is my chance to point out your mistake. Yeah, no. Uh, I hate, I hate, I hate. And only because I hate it so much, I will listen to the explanation, which is in Korean. Oh no! <laughs> Zeph, what have you done? What have you done? <laughs> Zeph takes out all the explanations. I mean, okay, I know, I know. Alright, so what are the knives? Mobile phone. Broken mobile phone, Inori's Inor body, and bloody white coat. Okay, okay either the, the mobile phone or... Say, Let's assume that the sun god was submerged in water. Uh, without Certainly, a... you can electrocute without touching the body directly. But in order to get... <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that you're being fast on it. It looks like they touched up this minigame because yeah, you're actually landing hits. Yeah. <laughs> it might be this it might be the skill. That's right. I forgot. No, you have the skill now. If you only draw on the stun gun, you can operate it remotely. But that's impossible. Ah. That's There's a tool that Yay! Oh. I didn't die. Yay! Thank you, Haru. You got I hope... it on the first try. Thank you, Haru, for being stupid. I hope yours is the only one of this time. <laughs> because then I survived it perfectly. Oh my god, that was funny. <laughs> to be fair, we got like three idiots left on the cast. <laughs> Uh, Haru, four, four if you count Yuki, I'm sorry. Four if you count Yuki. I almost brushed him off. Oops. <laughs> May Teruya and Haru live long. Good God. <laughs> but please, please let that be the only only one of those uh, mini games. I I cannot tell you. I don't know. Hmm. Kobashikawa, maybe there may be a way, a tool that. Can operate by itself. What? In fact, the science lab's stun gun wasn't just dropped there. Next to it, a mobile phone was connected with a strap. The, the cell phone? You mean the one that Urahara discovered? Yeah, that's right. Maki's mobile phone. It was the one that disappeared, and you said it was there? You didn't see it? You wanna pretend you I didn't think see it? Playing up the, I I I he's playing up the shock factor. Hmm. There's there's no way he didn't see it there. He literally discovered the body with us, air quotes. Mm -hmm. So <sighs> anyway. Also you said it was a self-moving tool? Why does it cell phone matter? Actually, it matters because it has a vibration function that was used. Oh. Kinjo's right. That phone has an alarm setting just before we had heard Inori scream. Ah, that's right. I understood this now. So, you connected the strap to the phone. <laughs> don't, don't play dumb. I love how. Akane is already figuring it out. Hmm. <laughs> Why is the alarm function related to moving? Am I the only vibration. one who doesn't understand? Well, maybe he... Vibration. <laughs> well, he generally didn't know about the vibration because it wasn't relevant, actually. That's possible. He only needed the he's sound, really. He's had the phone really. for a few days. You can't tell me the alarm hasn't gone off once unless he said it himself. Hmm. Oh, 
Arehara, a vibration alarm function. You don't know what that is? Hmm? Alright. Uehara lived in the mountains, so you don't know the achievements of society, right? Let the civilized people tell you then. I did not live in the mountains. <laughs> Uehara, what I wanted to explain was that they drowned the stun gun using the phone's alarm function. The phone and the stun gun were connected by a strap. Probably the, tele the killer set the alarm at the time when the stun gun was going about to be drowned and placed the phone in a corner as if it were about to fall on the edge of the desk. When this happens, the alarm goes off at the pre preset time and the vibration function occurs. The cell phone moves little by little due to the vibration and eventually falls from the desk to the floor. I see. I understand now. Did you figure this out, out of, on your own, or did someone explain it to you? I think he figured it out on his own. Ah, that because, be because, like, um, he's been the one recharging the phone and keeping it on his person, hmm. and I don't know if other than that uh, time in the dining room, if they've really tried anything else with it, hmm. or if they have, it hasn't been ex it hasn't been like displayed on screen, so. It would be an off-screen interaction. No, could be I, I, I personally think he figured it out himself. Hmm. So the stun gun that was connected to the cell phone fell along with it. Uh, what do you think, Kobashikawa? With this, it's possible to electrocute Inori remotely without anyone in the science lab, right? Oh, yes. I lost. I lost. Uh, I didn't want to lose this time, but I lost to Maida again. My guy, this is not a competition. Yep. People like Kinjo. If people like Kinjo don't know, Maida will be able to win. Is it a problem to win or lose now? Take it seriously. This is this is a class trial. Yep. I, I know that, but who would know about this? I only argued once because I thought my reasoning was better than Maida's. It's fine, don't fight. Now, we have to focus on revealing the culprit's crimes first. Why am I medi mediating now? So, Kanata was electrocuted remotely using a cell phone in the flood, right? Hey, you found out that phone has an alarm function. Even if it is that type of phone these days, it looks like an old 2G phone. My question would be, is it waterproof? Nope. <laughs> oh wait, it might be, because the older phones used to have more resistance. Like, the Nokias used to be able to handle, like, you could literally hit them with a hammer, or, like, you could literally drop them in water six to eight times and they'd be fine. Yep, they were basically bricks. Yeah, so that's actually a good point. I didn't think about that. Yeah, a friend of mine had one of those, and when she wanted a new phone... She kind of um, accidentally left the phone beside the uh, uh, beside the car, so it oh no yeah so it would be run over and that was the only way to get it broken. <laughs> That's true. It's funny though because some of them can actually withstand that, which is insane. You gotta like back over it a few times. <laughs> well, it proof. The fact that the stun gun fell into the water means that the cell phone that was connected to it also dropped. Old cell phones would probably break because of the water. No, rather the cell phone was floating on the floor of the science lab and was in a broken state. The time was displayed was strange and the colors of the screen had strange marks and lines. I just found out that the alarm was set among other features that were still functional. So, you can't use any other functions again? That's a little disappointing. Even if it's out of signal, it would it was still a mobile phone that could... ...air a clue in the future. Hey, aren't you guys leaning down the road too much? 
If the, if the problem is sorted out, let's move on to the next step. If Inori's problem was already cleared up, we still have yet to hear a lot more from this case. Ah, oh, right. So, as long as the killer can do a remote killing using a cell phone in the floor of water, they don't have to run directly to the second and third floors. I see. If you set it up in advance, the rest just needs Inori tied up so that she cannot move from that spot. They may have used a lot of tape for that purpose. It seems so. But if that's true, then what happened to Yamaguchi? Huh? Is there anything amiss? The culprit did the ki did the killing themselves. <sighs> Wait a second. Even if Kanada is clear, is is it the same with Yamaguchi? When I discovered him in the library, there was only Kinjo who fell down. If Tyro's words are true, it would certainly be impossible to get out of the library without being noticed. Time of death was 8.40 in the first place, and it's impossible for any of us to kill at that time. Maida, Urehara, Mika and Mikako went to the third floor, so it's impossible. Tatsuki, Kobashikawa, Otori and I... Confirmed each other on the second floor, so it's all too far-fetched. And Kinjo and Mikaru were in a state of being beaten by the killer, right? Come on, Something guys. Like Don't fall for it. Then, who is the killer? A ghost? <sighs> No, wait. Wouldn't it be possible for him? Don't blame Don't blame police by now. You, Kinjo. Of course. <sighs> what did I say earlier? What did I say? What did I say? Yep. It would be possible to pull to pull this shit on morons. Two morons have already been like definitely Kinjo and I'm like god fucking damn it. Mm. <laughs> Kinjo? Well, but Kinjo was hit by the killer in the head, right? You're gonna there was no way he input there was no way he injured himself. Yep. The the injury mm -hmm. that he got was a was head trauma. It is difficult to give yourself head trauma. You would have to have something fall on you. There was nothing there showing that. <laughs> they might try to argue something about Yamaguchi defending himself, maybe. Oh my god. There's no signs of a struggle, that's... no. Hmm. No, I feel bad for Kinjo, but... Think of it as uh, terms for elimination. Kinjo and Mikaru are the only ones who have no alibi. At the time of the crime. Then Mikaru is the suspect too? She was literally tied up, guys, come on. They were in the... she was in the art room, though. It's too far from there, but Kinjo was found right in the library where Yamaguchi was dead. So you're saying that he... that him being knocked out was a self-made play? Funny that you would oh mention that. Yeah, I, I just realized why they were both planted um, where they were. Hmm. Kinjo's in the same room as Yamaguchi. Mekaru is in a room on the same floor as Kanata. Hmm. He was trying to fl frame two people, like two murderers, but Monokuma accidentally already confirmed that it's not possible for two killers to be here, or for it to even happen. Which means this is going to fall through anyways. Oh, Uehara, were you really trying to uh, like make this fool's play of, fl of framing the two smartest people in here? That is the only reason I can see them being one on the floors of each of the bodies and two in as close proximity as they were. Because hmm. you wouldn't be able to m leave Mekaru like that close to Inori because of the leaking water. But even if I saw that the wound was quite severe to be a self-play and I tried to heal it. Thank you for remembering. Wasn't that prepared? 
If you're guilty in the first place, you'll get executed and die. But if it's about hurting yourself, oh, he's referring to Ayame. Mm -hmm. That's why they're thinking about it like this, because I Ayame did this. Isn't it possible for the criminal to get out of out simply by faking being a victim? Buddy. I mean, yes, theoretically, but not here. <laughs> okay, so you all consider me to be the culprit. That, that's... Do you really think I did the murder? If you say that, it only sounds like an excuse. If you're not the culprit, why don't you refute it logically? Isn't that your specialty? No. Mans doesn't have enough information, so this was Kin Kinji's, like, fucking plan from the start. Take out the two that are the most smart. Like, keep them from getting as much information as they can. Hmm. To where they can't defend themselves if they do get pinned. That is the smart thing of what he did. I will agree with that. I would... Oh my god, this is not going to work. <laughs> nope, uh, Yuki is way too smart for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because I really was fainted, I am lacking in information. I'm not able to refute something so that you think it's reasonable. What? This is maybe... Kinjo, are you declaring your defeat? He, uh, he's putting a pin in it. <laughs> yeah. He is being honest. Yeah, true. I'll ask this for, in for confirmation. Yamaguchi's time of death is 8.40. It was written in a Monokuma file, so it's accurate. And as soon as you went to the second floor and scattered for the investigation, Yamaguchi was already dead in the library. Yes, I guarantee this. If anyone had paid attention, then they would have probably noticed that uh, Uehara was found right before. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You know that you can't- if you can't refute it, you'll confess that you're the culprit, right? How do you know? Uh... Haru, go to timeout. You're stressing me out. <laughs> Maybe ask if someone can donate some brain cells. Yuki, can he borrow, like, one of yours? Just one. I think one would get him out of this fucking loop that he's in mm. right now. Police boy is just... Dead. He has the right to remain silent. Yeah, Anything and Anything you... you say can be used against you. Can and will be used against you. So I understand why he's not fucking answering. I think he's also just thinking right now. That too. <laughs> Kinjo, is he really the culprit? Yuki, no. Don't be stupid. What? A person of justice or a character who doesn't forgive criminals. I have to leave this emotion and look at things objectively. Is it true that only Kinjo and Mikado are without alibis and could have committed a crime? But I've... I should think about this more. It's possible that we concluded this way too early. Way too early, my guy. What's this music? I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? Pastor weapon, library bloodbath, and Tyra's testimony. I don't think we have enough... Mm, maybe Tyra's yeah. testimony? You're free to believe me or not, but I was knocked out by the killer. That might be your own trick. He killed Yamaguchi in the library on the spot. Th no. He would have had to use his gun. You just have to pretend to be stunned by hitting your head. Nope. Actually, the one in the library who can do it at the time is Kinjo. No, <laughs> you are... Mm. But the wound was real? If the wound was self-inflicted, it's a problem to solve. It's a it's an easy problem to solve. K Kinjo is really the killer? Mans is not fucking speaking. <laughs> and honestly, I <laughs> mood. I understand. I don't think it's her testimony that we need to mm. use. 
Because it doesn't fit with the pieces that we're seeing. Then maybe the library thing? I think it's the library, yeah. Hmm. Yamaguchi was lying in the library. The person who can kill Yamaguchi in a library is the one who was in, a, in the same place, and it looks like that only Kinjo was there. But is it certain that Yamaguchi was found in the library and, and died there? Let's recall what we investigated. This mystery can be solved too. Don't be dramatic. The only one that can do this is Kenjo. You're so funny. Hilarious, even. Mm. I think it's, um... Haru's other statement. Yeah. Oh, that's coming up. But I'm also... You shoot it. Okay, I'm glad that was right, because the cluster <laughs> weapon could have also uh, hinted at something else going on. What were you going to shoot that at, if, if you don't mind me asking? I'm curious, because I wasn't thinking about that. I mean, if it's... It could have been proved that maybe Yamaguchi was killed in the art room. Ah, yeah. See, that's the other thought. But, like, especially since the, the fucking blood bugs. But I think, mm. because we haven't gotten there yet, that they're not pointing us in that direction just yeah. yet. I do think that he, he got a fatal wound somewhere else, though, and mm. not in the library. I think he just passed out in the library from blood loss. Probably. Mashikawa, wait a minute. Is that really true? You're asking if it's true? What do you mean? Kobashikawa just said he killed Yamaguchi, who was in the library on the spot. That conclusion may have been wrong. What do you mean? It was the same logic as in Maki's case. There's no guarantee that the murder took place where the body was found. So they were leaning towards that, but it was just different evidence needed mm. to be put there. Uh-huh. Th then you mean he wasn't killed in the library? I think that's more likely, because of the bloodstains, which seem to be dragged from outside. If Yamaguchi was really dead in the library at the beginning of the day, it would have been an impossible crime. Then where is it? Where did Yamaguchi die? I'm not really sure. Maybe it was in the art room. The art room? That's so far away. The main stage of this case is likely to be in the science lab in the library. In fact, it might not be an exaggeration to say that the art room is more important than these two. Brain cells being used, God yes. bless. The reason why the art room is an important place, and why Yamaguchi may have died in the art room other than the library. I saw that too, and though it is very little, that tool had blood on it. Oh, the plaster weapon. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. But this could also... There's so much bloody stuff in the art room. Yeah, there is a lot. Okay, so the bloody top then? It's the most tool-like thing. Uh. Hmm. Guess I just no. try it. No. No. <laughs> You selected it right I was, as I was double-checking what it was, and no, it is the plaster weapon. <laughs> Yuki, they all had blood splat <laughs> in it. You gotta be more specific. Like, I had a feeling it was the plaster weapon anyway, even though I, I don't really read this until, like, we need it. But, like, god. Because I would have probably thought the, 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 the wrapper too, but also... Eh. Hmm. There were some plaster weapons in the art room. It's made of stone, but if you cut it, its edge is fairly sharp enough to swing it as a weapon. It becomes... Ba it basically becomes a spear with which you can easily cut human flesh. No way! That spear of stone was the thing that killed Yamaguchi? It probably is, because one of the plaster weapons had a blood spot on it. Wait a second. 
Yamaguchi died in the art room, but he was there? Isn't it a bit hard to say that he died there? He could have been killed in the library and then put back in that place for a while, right? No, he's hmm. big boy. He's a big boy. What yep. the fuck do you mean, Haru? That's not possible. There was a plastic wrap with blood on... With blood in the trash can from the art room. Oh, you saw that. Okay, so he was able to investigate the art room good, because mm. honestly, I feel like that room's way more important. <laughs> a plastic wrap. Kinja found it too. You didn't have much time to investigate, though. That's right, so I couldn't realize that the plaster wrap had blood on it. I just listened to Maeda's theory and found out its connection. Dan. How was the plastic wrap used? As Maida said, there is blood on the plaster weapon. There's a high chance that the murder weapon is that. Is it? Is this? The Monokuma file also said something sharp. If so, the killer would have killed Yamaguchi with the wrap around the blade on the shedding. That's. That's still a little blunt. That would have hurt. The way I could see this working is like... <sighs> gravity. Hmm. But there are two wounds across the neck that don't fully go through. Hmm. Makes it very hard for me to believe that it is a one-sided blade that did this. Yeah. Unless it was swung twice. Very hard. I don't see Urehara having that kind of strength. No. Hey, you said the wrap was covered in blood, right? I mean, is that a tool to prevent blood from getting on getting onto the weapon? Oh. I see. Hmm. It was preventative to make sure that the blood didn't like Okay. Hmm hmm. I realize that, but isn't there something odd? They use the wrap to make to keep the blood from getting into the weapon, but Maeda said the plaster weapon had blood on it. Isn't that contradictory? Uh, did I not mention this? It wasn't just spread, it was faintly spread. It was not an ordinary blood mark, it was an oval round blood mark the size of a nail. Oh, how can blood be like that? I see. I understand after listening to Maeda. It was a simple accident that got blood on the plaster weapon. An accident? I don't know how many people have gone through the trash cans in the art room, but if you've seen the plastic wrap, you know. In the wrap there was blood all over except for one round hole. Ah, I see. If it was the original intention of the criminal, then the, the spot of blood should not have been on the weapon. But somehow, part of the rub was torn, that's why the bloodstain remained. Aha! Uh -huh. Then, as these two said, the culprit killed Yamaguchi in the art room with the weapon that was in the art room. And then the evidence was put in a trash bin. That's great! These are ex these two are excellent detectives. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait. I know that the wrap prevents blood from splattering, I get it. But that could have been done in the art room by bringing the wrap to the library, then do the killing, and then dispose of the evidence in the art room. Why would you go back and forth? Mm hmm. In a, in a span of five minutes, Haru. In a span of five minutes? <laughs> Of, co um, of course, you can see it that way. But it wasn't just the wrap that was in the art room's trash. Maeda, you found out the wrap. You must have seen that thing too. How about you tell the others about it? That thing. You mean something that was thrown in the trash with the plastic wrap? That must be the coat. Yep, the coat. Kinjo, you mean Inori's white coat? Indeed, Inori's white coat with a lot of blood on it. As a result, Inori's body was not wearing a white coat, 
Why was the code in such a place? Wait a minute. Kanata is... She died in a terrible manner, but she didn't bleed at all. But there's blood on it? I don't know why Inori's white coat was in the art room, but one thing is certain. The killer used the white coat to wipe the blood off. Wipe it off? But isn't it still there? You can tell just by looking at the shape of the blood. In all likelihood, it's a blood stain that seems to have been rubbed with blood. At some point. You can see that it was used to destroy evidence. Well, but it was Yamaguchi who sp shed blood, right? Where do you say they wiped the blood off? They probably, like, wrapped it around his throat? I think so. I think it was to be able to, to carry him, but I'm like, mm. Damn, Orihara has arms? Apparently. Damn! <laughs> like, down the How stairs. How the fuck else do you carry him? Like, Yamaguchi beef boy. <laughs> Hello? It's the art room itself. The art room has traces of blood on the floor. Oh, I missed that. There were traces of blood left. Huh. As Kurokawa mentions, there are traces of the blood wiped off the floor in the art room. I've even checked with the smell, so I'm sure. I see. I didn't know about it, but there was blood on the floor. If that's the case, it proves that they wiped the blood with the coat. Oh, maybe the blood on the floor was over by the locker. That could but be But they it. didn't wipe out the locker. Mm-hmm. Blood splattered on the floor of the art room? Someone mentioned this before. Only Yamaguchi shed blood. Then, by process of elimination, that means the blood splattered in the art room is... When Yamaguchi died in the art room. Yep. Indeed. That would be good enough for the reason we didn't find these on the second floor. This is Kinjo, after all. Even if we investigate for a few minutes, they will remain to solve all the cases. I need... I can only put my reasoning up to this point. Even if Yamaguchi died in the art room, the mystery still remains unsolved. What? Which mystery? No matter where the body died, what you saw with your own eyes was Kakeru Yamaguchi's body who died in the library. Then the corpse must have been moved by the killer, which in turn means they somehow moved from the art room to the library. Oh, that's a surprise. Mikaru's helping us. Well, because it involves her now. Because they're talking about the art room. Hmm. Because of how frustrating this is. Anyway, think carefully. The time of death of Kakeru Yamaguchi and the time until you found the body. Spell? Bullet? Scan? Please don't introduce white noise. <laughs> Swear to god. Yes, yes. Learn to scan for crewmates, okay? In the case of an ordinary non-stop debate, multiple truth bullets are given and it's common to fire truth bullets suitable for the opponent's statement. In this case, however, you can scan a bullet from another Ah, uh, another friend's yellow statement to make it your own. To scan, press X or escape. While pointing the yellow text, however, if there's no specific skill for this, a current considerable delay is given to the scan and the friend's words miss during the scan, the scan will fail. Also, scanning a truth bullet doesn't mean it's the end, because you've got a truth bullet that will be the correct answer. But you need to refute it by using the scan bullet as usual for the contradictory remark. You can't scan any statements either. You can only scan one truth bullet. Don't hesitate to scan if you hear any suspicious yellow comments. Finally, the scanned bullets don't disappear unless you shoot them for correct or incorrect answers. If you scan, scan the wrong statement, the scan will disappear and will go back to the beginning. Also, truth bullets 
other than those that have been scanned won't disappear until they are shot. In other words, in some cases after scanning you may skip all comments and go back to the beginning. But in a scanned state, your speaking power will not be reduced unless it's a mistake. So you can refute the correct answer with confidence. Okay, that was a lot of complicated stuff for something very simple. Marina, I have to say. Hmm? A mention of crewmates is an Among Us fucking reference. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, so like the whole time I wanted to say, but you weren't done reading, and I was like, I'll just wait, I'll just wait, I'll just wait. And I'm like, does that fucking go on the Among Us counter? Or do we add a, do we add a half? What the? Uh, I hate that. Anyway, they want us to scan something. What's the mystery? The place where Yamaguchi died is the art room. He was in the art room around 8.40 the time of death. At that time, we were already investigating the second floor. I was in the hallway. There was no sign of anyone on the third floor. But how did Yamaguchi teleport to the library? That is the mystery. Reasoning is possible, but the contradictions don't stop. Wrong time of death? Yes. Bless. There's no such chance, because that is always written in a Monokuma file as true. If Kinjo doesn't know it, we're drawing a blank here. This is bonkers. Why do murders always happen all the time? Day or night, without any oh. cover, they still kill us. And then with the class in this class trial is awful too. Yeah, I think it's Terry's statement. Yeah, let's think about it. Something might come up. All righty then. I must scan Kinjo's and then shoot Terry's. Or no, it's ah. it's. I think you scan Terry and then shoot uh, ah. Kinjo's statement. In our discussion right now, something important seemed to have been misunderstood. It is clear that the place where Yamaguchi died is the art room around 8.40, except everything won't fit going back and forth. He did die in the art room, but there were bloodstains in other places, and the body was moved to the library. It feels like everything was prepared in advance. There's only one thing that elim eliminates the possibility, it's the Monokuma file. The file that has always been correct about its information, and this is no exception. And there's no possibility that the Monokuma file was prepared in, its, in advance to inform the time of death. If that's the case, it's not the Monokuma file that is wrong, it's us. We miss something very vital here. What we miss from the information provided in, in the Monokuma file, compared to the previous Monokuma files. Information that was not added only for this file. If I think carefully about this, I will reach the answer. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. is actually incredible that our that our fucking weird ass theory ended up being right about <laughs> what time of day. Like I was just I was just like, there's no way considering no. Lanus was just like, yeah, I'll add Western time in here for this. And I'm like, like smart ass man, but I wanna mm. I wanna shake him. <laughs> All right, I gotta pay attention. I gotta pay attention. Not groove out to the I think music. Terry's statement comes up soon, and it's in the top left mm. where you have to scan it. The music is a bop, though. All right, concentrating, concentrating, concentrating. I think it says next one. Yeah. Thank you. I can't believe we have to do a whole other loop just to get back to what the fuck he said, though. Yeah. That's so annoying. <laughs> Very much. All right. Alright, let's refute Police Boy for once in our life. Good god. We usually don't get this chance. We don't we don't get to challenge him much, yeah. Uh we should fix that. <laughs> okay. 
So it's, uh, it's definitely when he brings up the Monokuma file, because Monokuma file is right! Because it never listed morning or evening! Yep. It just listed the times. Man, Uohara so was really lucky overnight. that Monokuma played along. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Nice. We are now at the halfway point. Huh. For the <laughs> introductions. Day and night. Day and night? Guys, wait a second. Wait, there is something that bothers me. What's wrong, Maida? Does anyone have Yamaguchi's Monokuma file? I bought it to I bought it the last time I checked. Why? Did you think of anything? Kinjo, read what was written in that Monokuma file without any mistakes, please. Mm, okay. The estimated time of death of the victim, Kakeru Yamaguchi, is about 8.40. Found in the library, sharply cut, cut from the neck to uvula. The weapon is presumed to be something sharp, no other visible trauma. Something is weird, isn't it? Something is weird? What is it? What is? In the Monokuma file, it says the time of death is 8.40, but it doesn't say at all whether it's a.m. or p.m. I pointed this out! I'm yeah. really proud! <laughs> you did! You sure did! Yes! Oh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna be walking that all day. <laughs> yeah, huh? Uh? That's better than the police, am I right? It was like that. Uh, I don't understand what they are talking about. Teruya and Kobazing too, so please explain it to us. What? Hey! Why do you mention me and make me a fool? Be because you are. <laughs> yes, you need it explained, boy. M Mr. needs to brush up on his science. Mm -hmm. Did you understand them? Please explain, Maida. <laughs> <laughs> she just wounded his pride, and he's like, "Ah, oh, fuck, you're right." <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Okay, think for a moment. In the Monokuma file we've seen so far, clearly indicated whether it was in the morning or afternoon. The victim is uh, Kiyoka Maki. The estimated time of death is around 6 a.m. The body was found with her neck hanging in the woman's bathroom in the dorm area. The cause of death is a bruise in her occipital region. She has, mm. she had massive bleeding. The victim is Tomori Kizuna. Estimated time of death is 9.30 p.m. The body was found in a switch room in a power room on the second floor of the school. There is a long torn wound on her stomach and the bleeding is massive. The cause of death is a cut wound on the... Is Fargus caused by a knife? Ah, is it is it really is AM or PM are not written in this Monokuma file because it's detrimental to the case. Yet, <laughs> it was a blind spot. I'm sure the Monokuma file is the only one that says the truth, but it's not being mistaken. Whoever we were. It's not 8.30 a.m. The real time of the incident took place the night before. It was 8.40 p.m. Because they've both been dead for a while. Hmm. The blood was dry. Inori was fried beyond belief. It also takes forever for the water to fill up. Yep. Too. So, like, golly. Then, Yamaguchi, you're saying he was already dead since last night? When we were walking around? Wait a minute! Aren't we jumping too fast here? 
just because it doesn't say whether it was at morning or at night, it's not enough to conclude that he died the night before. Maybe Monokuma forgot and missed it in the first place. No. Nope. No. He left that out because it's a detrimental clue. No, it's not a jump, nor a leap. Rather, this case cannot be solved unless it's this way. At first, I fainted, so I thought I was lacking information. But considering the premise of 8.40pm, now the back and front have started to fit. S still. Or do you want to ask Monokuma then? Eh? Uh? Until now, the Monokuma files always recorded the time of death in the morning or afternoon, but is there any reason for omitting that point only in this occasion? Wedding. It's what harder, Monokuma. No comment. If you ask me that, I will. I will be the one in the trial. I've said it again and again. I've decided not to meddle with the trial. This is a big no. The Monokuma file always gives us only the right information, and based on it, are helpful for reasoning. It's kind of like a service system. But now, because of the Monokuma file, it's causing confusion and misinformation. So, it caused a useless debate. I think this is a problem, Monokuma. Get him! A problem? Th that? I can't help you now. It is not worth saying anything wrong. It's not saying anything wrong. I just can't tell you. Because it's a detrimental clue! Yep. <laughs> Pretty sure this is it. Monokuma files always and only tell the truth, but some may have felt it thought felt it through this incident so far, right? According to the content of each case, the description of the content the content is adjusted accordingly and properly orchestrated. It was orchestrated. In simpler terms, it's like this. For example, let's say that the killer wants to implement a whole body trick for that purpose. In that case, it was in the Monokuma file. It would be, it was drunk with. Indeed, it's a delicate system that makes me sick. <laughs> hmm. That's it! The Monokuma file is only a tool that helps in the investigation, not a tool to tell the truth. Because then you guys will pay the price. It seems like you wouldn't know unless you talk about it, but that means the culprit in this case wanted to hide the time of death. That's why the timelines are subtracted from the Monokuma file. Very strange, isn't it? What's that? I can't hear you. I don't know anything. La 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 la. Boy. <laughs> it was bound to happen. In fact, because of this time trick, um, we almost got. We almost went in a very wrong direction. Currently. No, it certainly looks that way. But are we really sure? Without certain evidence, it could be just an inference based on Monokuma's words and circumstances. You used process of elimination before. This also falls under it. If something is impossible in one way, it must be possible the other way. Haru has no science brain. Yep. Because that is also a a science way of thinking. Mm -hmm. Even though, like, literally... the. It's one of the best. It's one of the best tactics to do anything. But <laughs> Haru has no science brain. Haru knows no si no science tricks. Yeah. For Haru. <laughs> Why are you so negative? Did someone stab you? It's not like that. I just want to be sure. Sure. It's not like we don't understand you. Well. If that's the case, I'll be sure to submit evidence, as Haruhiko said. Shall we try it? You have evidence? 
Yes, before I used to think about whether this was done in the morning or at night, but I knew the timeline trick and there was some solid evidence to support that claim. The question I felt during the investigation, I could feel it while I was examining Yamaguchi's body. If Yamaguchi was dead for a day, the cause of these questions are understandable. The question is... The, sta the stop bleeding. Yeah. Yeah. The proof is simple, Yamaguchi's wound was not bleeding. Huh? That's not it, is it? It was because the library was a bloodbath. That's obvious. But anyone who has examined the body in detail would have felt a sense of something being misplaced. The body is, the body in, is recent in contrast to the library. Yamaguchi himself, though, did not have a single drop of blood coming out from his neck wound. You saw that? I didn't really check the body in detail. My guy. Hmm. Definitely, it felt strange to me too. When I heard about Yamaguchi's time of death and thought about it again, things connected in some way. Um, then let's sort this out. The blood was far gone, is what it means? It's been some time since he died, so the blood already... stopped? Oh, I see! It supports the idea that Yamaguchi was already dead yesterday evening! Hmm. Wait a minute, please. Sure, that may be true, but what happened to the blood in the library? The blood was not dry and it was just flowing. Dude, stop objecting, you are suspicious already. Mm -hmm. the, blo mm, the blood in the library is just a diversion for the criminal to make us think Yamaguchi just died. <gasps> Ureharu is not injured. Mm. Blood on him came from the blood packs. The blood that filled the library was probably what the, killed you, what the killer used. A tool that would be in the infirmary. Blood, blood packs. transfusion packs. Blood. Blood packs. Do you know there's a refrigerator in the infirmary that keeps blood transfusion packs? Oh, it was in storage for the transfusion pack. Uh, it was for storage of the transfusion packs. I think I bought one for the injured man to drink when he was thirsty. Satsuki? Satsuki, do you date a vampire? <laughs> because I have to admit I would be a little envious. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no. Inside there are a lot of transfusion packs for each blood type. I found out during my investigation this morning that the blood transfusion packs inside were gone. I didn't know because I couldn't go to the infirmary, as Maida said. The blood in the library. But mm, there is. Mm, there's one thing that bothers me about this, though. Yeah. Mm, blood of different. Uh, Blood types don't mix. Oh, like scientifically they don't? Like even not in a bloodstream? Like, you know how you can test which blood type you have? It's been a while, I don't remember how to do this. <laughs> you get some blood of yourself and then you can, you put it in like different thingies with like antibodies for different blood types. Oh, I see. And so what you're telling me is, would it have the effect that oil and water would? Where it just kind of doesn't properly, you know? Mm, no. You know how I said that uh, getting the wrong blood transfusion pack would be deadly because it clumps? Wait, so it would clump like on the floor? E if it touches each other and they're incompatible, yes. That's so cool! Like, morbid, but really cool! <laughs> At least I think that would happen, because, like, you can try it out in a... in a flask, so... That's kind of neat. Like, weird, but neat. 
So yeah, I would think that unless Uehara was really smart and placed them very strategi strategically, <laughs> they probably uh, we would probably see clumps. It, it, it would it would just be like, like like blood mush. Yeah, blood mush. I don't think anyone has ever tried like in a big scale before, but I would assume to see a, at least a few clumps around in lines probably. <laughs> Interesting. Like, Ida did say the blood pattern was weird, though. That is true, but I haven't heard any mention of clumps. True, true, true. Alrighty then, science lesson over. It, it was a pool of blood made by transfusion packs. It was a room of lies. It was like that? It was a little weird when you think about when you think about it. I think I saw too much blood. In the beginning, Yamaguchi must have been killed in the art room, but it's also strange that there was so much blood in the library. It can be said that they dis that they disguised him a bit too much. From there, when it comes to the time of death, I have a guess. Maida, do you remember when the trial was about to begin? We met in the hallway on the second floor when I just woke up. Uh, are you talking about that time? Yeah, I definitely told Maeda about this. Right before being stunned by the killer, I saw Yamaguchi bleeding and fainted. Evening. Hmm. What? Wait, obviously Kin's Kinjo was attacked, but... Of course, it was at night time yesterday. Then Yamaguchi was... Already dead in the evening. Hmm. Monokuma files, some bleeding, blood transfusion packs, and what Kenjo mentioned. I can only say that if the evidence comes out, one after another up to this point, then we can make sure of things properly. Alright then, now everyone knows for sure. Kakeru Yamaguchi was not dead at 8.40 this morning, but at 8.40 p.m. yesterday at night. So that is how it happened. Pretty good and competent. I praise you on this one. Ooh. Oh, rare praise from the queen. Yes. I mean, you were locked up anyway, so you didn't know that. Shut up. Don't pretend to be our smartest. <laughs> yeah, call him out. He was an idiot earlier. <laughs> mm. But, oh well. I'll admit it for a little bit. I know the killer, as I said before, but I was not sure about the trick. I'll tell you that my gaze on incompetent ha has changed by about 0.01%. Uh, that was a compliment, right? Yeah, a high one. A high one. I guess all the mysteries have been solved because Yamaguchi was already dead yesterday. The trick for Inori was solved too. That also includes the movement of the blood spots and the corpses all over the place were indeed solved as well. However, the real issue begins after this. Then who is the killer? That is the problem we have on our hands. That's... Yeah, it's too early to be happy just yet. Even if we solve all the tricks, mysteries, and questions, if we don't know the culprit, then this is a bad outcome. But if the contents so far are true, the criminal deliberately wanted to make 8.40pm and 8.40am different. The timing was thoroughly calculated for the murder, right? Also, spraying a blood transfusion pack and even had the guts to kill two people and attack up to three people in a single night. Yeah, this case is somewhat impulsive and different from the two previous cases, which are considered semi-accidents. I'm certain this was a planned murder committed with a crime plan. Kinjo's words are correct. Unlike the previous two incidents, 
I feel a firm malice. Are they really among us? A killer who carefully murdered like this? God damn it. Kinjo, what should we do in this case? If all the tricks are really solved, and if you only need to find a culprit, then you should start with an alibi. Since you know the real time of death of Yamaguchi, you will naturally know who the killer is. If you look at each alibi based on this... Alibi? You mean... Let's wait each one. First of all, tell me what everyone did at 8.40pm yesterday, the real time of death of Yamaguchi. Yesterday at 8.40pm? At that time, surely, wasn't it the time Tyra was making a fuss? Ah, hmm. so that eliminates several people. Yep. Tyra's fuss. Oh, y yeah, that. Tyra tried to kill herself last night. Uh, thank you for the sensible informing, Teruya. I mean... <laughs> okay, 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 wait, wait. You can't even go in on him about that right now. This phrasing is probably the worst. I mean, I think she's trying to, like, deflect. To not embarrass Akana, I think Akana, she's probably but... trying to say it's not a big deal now, hmm. but... Oh, honey. <laughs> bad phrasing. Bad phrasing. Awful phrasing. It's no big deal. Tara just got hurt a little. I was there. It was irrelevant for the case. Mikako. Yeah, I think she really is just trying to downplay it. Yeah. Probably being like, we don't need to dwell on this. Hmm. Continue. Right, so that leaves Kurokawa, Otori, and I, who were there, Iranami, Kobashikawa, and the five of us were supporting Taira. When I recall that, I think it was around 8.40pm. Okay, if so, I think you can remove the six of you from the suspect line. Good, so the only ones left are the psycho cop, the priest, and me. <laughs> that that dwindled fast. Oh boy. Boy. So, uh, who might? Uh, you want to tell us your alibi? Since you're so confident, I know she didn't do anything, but I'm just like, man, you're so confident. <laughs> huh? But isn't it weird? Those three were three people who passed out because they were aimed by the criminal. It's nothing you need to think about too hard. It's really not. <laughs> I don't want to doubt this, but in this case, there's only one possibility. There's proof that one of the testimonies is a lie. You are so fucking <laughs> sus. <laughs> oh. In between these three, someone lied? Y yeah, yep. it's not a surprise. These are the three that are the most capable of lying. <laughs> Absolutely. First, let's be as honest as possible. Why don't you tell us what you were doing at 8.40pm yesterday? I was in the third floor area and was hanging out on the casino side. Unfortunately, no one can testify for this, but... I was also checking the front door, but as I mentioned, I can't prove it because there was no one around. Same here. What? There were no witnesses for the other three? So you're saying all three are possible to commit the crime? Nah, just mm -mm. one of them. Oh, one of the three was not attacked by the killer, but... What if they pretended to be attacked? Well, I think we can... There's the Urehara. <laughs> yeah, we can clearly strike out police boy for that because, like, um, it's hard to fake a head Man's injury. Man was actually fucking injured. Hmm. You can cleanly strike out Meikaru too because she was thrown in a goddamn locker. 
tied up. Those were not self-inflicted ties. <laughs> yeah, that would be really hard to fake. There's a specific knot that you can tell if someone tied themselves up. Hmm. That was not possible there. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Kinjo Uehara and Mikaru, can you tell us the situation when you guys were attacked at dawn? If this solves your doubts... When it was a little over 3 a.m., I was on the way from the first floor to the second floor. Dude, do you sleep? Remember, like, a little bit back when we were talking about he doesn't listen to his own rules? Yep. Man. Maybe he's... Maybe... Maybe sleeping would fix him. Would it? Not entirely, but he might calm down a little. I... <sighs> might remove the stick in his butt. Possibly, or it could loosen it. I don't know. <laughs> loosen it. <laughs> Listen, you think he wants it completely out? <laughs> With how he talks to Mida? I'm sorry, but I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Did I take you out? I didn't mean to. <laughs> Gee, oh my. Scandalous. <laughs> that aside. And I usually went to the library side, so I moved there. When I went inside, Yamaguchi was down. I figured he was already dead by then. But at that time, it was necessary to find out if Yamaguchi was simply stunned or dead. But as I was trying to approach him... You were ambushed? Right. Normally, I'm not always nervous, but I think I was off guard for a moment. Probably the killer aimed for that point and they showed Yamaguchi's body to me. They showed it to you? Yeah, do you understand what I mean? Since Yamaguchi has been moved to the library, it was not as bloody as it is now. Then, in addition to simply confuse with Inori, they used it as bait to attract Kinjo. I said this. I said this. Mm -hmm, I said mm -hmm. this earlier. <laughs> I wondered why I was only stunned and not killed. But they will regret it. In return for keeping me alive, I will find them out, and they'll be punished accordingly. It was a similar situation for me, but it was probably earlier than Kinjo's. Earlier? How does that work? He would have seen you. Would have seen you passed out. Yep. I was attacked near the stairs while trying to go up on the third floor. That 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 does not make sense. How about you, Mikaru? Well, it's roughly similar. I was attacked near the art room and lost my sight somehow. And when I woke up, I was inside the locker. Oh, did her glasses get like knocked askew? Hmm. Could be. Plus that's a translation issue. But it all happened in the middle of the night, right? Now it seems that all three people were attacked at different times, and... Uehara did not sleep. Uehara did not sleep. There are no witnesses, so how do we know who the killer is? No, even if we were just attacked, doesn't it seem a little different in the method? Uh, are you gonna come after Mikaru now? The method? The attack method. Kinjo and Urehara, I know that we saw them get directly beaten and bleeding, but Mikaru was not bleeding nor assaulted in any way, yeah. other than like tied up and shoved in a locker. No, oh, she's not gonna like that. It's like, are you serious? Are you seriously pointing at me? Hmm. Dubbed in a locker. 
Then you think Mikado is the culprit? It is not her. Do I have to tell you every single thing now? It's chloroform. That's what they did. That's the traditional for trying to... See, that really pins that the, uh, that the killer had just come from the science lab then. Yep. And got her on the same floor. Because that's literally just down the hall and around the fucking corner. Laura, what? Oh, it was chloroform they used? It sounds rare, but it comes out in use for a lot of things. For example, to take your mouth with a handkerchief. That would be an effective way to get someone into a coma quickly. Hmm. You mean that stuff is in the school too? Science lab. Science lab. Hmm. Science lab. If you had searched the science lab with even a little bit of interest, you would have been able to find it right away. But it seems your stupidity is not going away. Remembering the moment just before the attack is a must. So it must have been a handkerchief that was put in my mouth. Okay. If that's what it is. Who really is the culprit? When it comes to an alibi, one of those three are still suspect. Points to Odehara. Hmm. <laughs> Don't think about the process. Let's reconsider the cause. Why were they amb ambushed and why only them? Why them? They found the... Uh, they, they found uh, the... They could have found stuff before they should have. I think it was, yeah, that they found evidence before, like, um... Man, Uehara did not sleep and just, like, stood there guarding he the scenes of crime. He was literally guarding the bodies all night. Dedication. And no sleep. Oh my god, wait. Now the positioning of the rooms makes sense. He was in the stairwell that was between the science room and the library. Mm -hmm. He was watching to make sure no one went upstairs and no one went down the hallway headed to the library. Yep. Oh my god. Fucking crazy smart man. Well, the killer is a little strange. It wasn't enough to kill two people, so they were... So they attacked three other people. If we put it simply, isn't it because they wander around at night time? And wow, if they had some alarm for vibrations prepared in advance, or if the corpses were found, it would be a headache. Maybe, but... Oh, I have a little guess. No. You have a derailment, is what you have. Yep. I didn't say this because I wasn't sure, but the cell phone was was used to kill Inori disappeared after I was attacked. Ah. You're just throwing that in there because you don't want to seem sus. And also it doesn't make sense because it must have been prepared before... eight... Uh, yeah. It must have been prepared way before. But I heard us, sir. Your time is up. <laughs> yep. I mentioned this to you, Maida, didn't I? Uh, yes. You were looking for it on the second floor hallway, right? Oh yeah! Urehara had the tools necessary for the crime, so they attacked him and took it from him. Uh. Nope. Ah, I see. Then there was a reason for Urehara's ambush. No. If that's the reason... Why did they attack Kinjo? If Kinjo moves normally at the time of the crime, it would be difficult for the culprit to get out. Plus, he's the ultimate police officer, right? There was also the results of the two previous cases. Actually, in this case, Kinjo is struggling like that because the trial began without Kinjo collecting enough clues, right? Even though I did research properly, your turn seemed to seemed as to pass it all on to me. Hey hey, let's not do that. 
If the try fails, Kinjo's life is also at risk, you know. Well, it seems like I can see the truth after coming this far. Huh? I have been suspicious of it, but when I think about the information I've got so far, I can see the silhouette of only one person, the killer. I believe some of you may, re may have realized it. How about it? The killer silhouette can be seen. What do you mean, Kenjo? You know the killer? I think it's funny how we sussed Uehara before we even found the corpses. He was sussy, bro! Yep. <laughs> so fucking sussy! <laughs> Everyone's remarks so far with the outline of the case and the alibis combined makes a person who is making contradictory statements. That person is the true culprit of this case. Contradictory statements. Is it them? If the alibis were all true, the culprit must be one. Between Kinjo Uehara or Mikaru, the one who made a contradictory statement among the myths. Yee! Uehara! Kinji! <laughs> Say it? Don't tell me. Was it you? Uehara? Kinji Uehara? Uh? What in blazes? You have been sussed. Trial suspended! Fuck yeah! <laughs> We got through most of the trial. And this is the perfect place to end the part. Yep. We'll have to leave you guys with some suspense. Yep. So until next time, we will, yeah, crucify Uehara. Jesus Christ will leave the chat. <laughs> yep. So until then, goodbye. Bye.